Because I attend all these high profile events covered by the press, any man who's with me must be able to handle himself in public and be able to carry on a conversation without embarrassing me. Gentlemen, Jerry has invited you all to her annual ball. Before you attend, you have to learn the most important lesson of all so far. You will learn the art of conversation. My boys need to be able to talk to a variety of people, like my friends or the press. So I'm sending them off to conversation school. It's common sense. If you do not know how to converse with someone, you know, you can't keep them interested, then, you know, she doesn't, she wouldn't want you. I will disappear. Hi, come in. Welcome. My name's Glenn Kinsey. I really didn't know we were getting into it for us, just walking in there. I thought we were going to have a strip down naked again and recite poetry up on some stage or something. Jerry's asked me to come along today because to be a kept man, you've got to be really good at conversation. Now, conflicts. There are certain words that are used that really do wind people up. So let me give you an example. If I was to say to you, that's great, but I think you should sit this way. What am I saying? You're a moron. Sometimes you have to socialize with people you're just not fond of. Who thinks they're really good at having an argument together? You two, yeah? So I thought it was important that my boys learn how to avoid conflict during social conversations. I want you both to have a discussion, a heated discussion, Instead of using the word but, however, or with all due respect, use the word and. I think it's really interesting that you think everyone is a hater. And I think if you were a little bit less self-centered, mm -hmm. you wouldn't think that. Uh, I'm not so into myself. I don't spend hours upon hours making everybody in the house wait until I get ready. Well done, all right, fire back. I think Anwar pretty much totally caught me off guard. Good strategy, man. I understand what you're saying, and I and I acknowledge what you're saying, but I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just being myself. And unfortunately, no one, including yourself, is actually being themselves. Here is well-spoken, well-educated Anwar, and here is hood rat wannabe Ricardo with nothing to say. Um, I actually don't need to spend a lot of time in the mirror because I was blessed with the beautiful shell and, you know, I just need to get up and, and go. In Jerry's face, I mean, Ricardo hasn't done anything that stupid. If she could see it, she would get rid of him in a second. All right, hold it there. I didn't know the tensions were so big. What's going on? <laughs> what we need to look at now, which is going to be really important for a cat man, as far as Jerry is concerned, she's very much in the public eye. So, she obviously needs someone with her that is very good at dealing with and handling the media. English newspapers are ruthless. They just write the meanest things about people all the time, you know, and in England people take it seriously. So, I'm going to act as the reporter, I'm going to fire some questions at you, and I want you to give me the answer. What do you think annoys Jerry the most about you? I do like to keep things clean and tidy. So are you saying that Jerry's not very clean and tidy? What you like about the women here is that they'll, they'll wash your, your No, clothes. you're saying that. I'm not saying that. You can't quote me like that. Oh, I take that back. Can I do that in the press? Can I take that back? <laughs> you're the shortest guy in the house, aren't yeah. you, out of everyone. Is that a good thing, do you think, or a bad thing for you? I think it's a good thing in a way, because it makes me work harder. Jerry likes short guys, so... Jerry likes short guys, stuff like that. It's stuff that they would use. So you have to be aware of how they can twist those words. Now, we have a surprise for you. We are going to throw you right in at the deep end with a whole load of press, a whole load of camera bulbs, and we're going to see how you get on. The adrenaline and butterflies just like are, are everywhere when you walk into the room full of press and thinking I'm about to freak out. We walk into this press conference, it flashes everywhere, yelling names out, this, that, Seth, Austin, Amwar, boom, boom, boom. It felt like day trading in stocks. We we're just like, oh my God. God, they're gonna be so nervous. I love it. When it comes to reporters, there's no room for error. 
So I set up a press conference to see if they could withstand the media pressure they'd face in my life. People screaming your names, the lights flashing, I just like deep breaths, deep breaths, it's nuts, and it's just like the nerves are just boiling inside the stomach. All right, welcome everyone to our press conference this evening. Uh, we are now down to eight people. These guys, as you know, are competing to become Jerry Hall's kept man. Remember, think about what you're going to say and take a deep breath so you don't say anything stupid. Far away with your questions. Question for the boundary. Why are you doing this? Getting a chance to meet Jerry Hall. I've never met Jerry before. I've heard a lot about her. And just the experience in this phenomenal. Hey, Mauricio, out of all these guys, who do you think's got the best body? I do. You're a good looking guy. Why are you single? That's what I was thinking. And if I say something wrong and they want to misinterpret it, it, it's all great. As long as people keep talking about you, and that's all that matters. Question for Steph. I feel like Jerry Hall respects you. Yeah, of course. I'm a, I'm a gentleman. For Anwar, which of you is not to be trusted? Personally, I trust everyone. Anwar is a total people pleaser. That only goes so far, you know what I mean? Like, I don't care who you are, if you're the president of the United States, if you came up to me and said, oh, how are these anchovies? I'd be like, these things are terrible. You got anything else to eat? It's too perfect, isn't it? Do you think that Jerry respects you? Oh, he already asked that. They already asked me that, you're <laughs> <laughs> Seth is funny, but funny doesn't really go that long of a way in the celebrity world. Austin, what are your current opinions of Jerry and her lifestyle? So far, I'm very envious and happy to be a part of it for a second. Okay, would you consider yourself a sycophant? No, no, I do uh, Can you define the last word? <laughs> Just being with Jerry, I can tell her about, you know, lifestyles that I learned. It's, she tells me about lifestyles that she learned. It's, <laughs> it's a whole diverse world, and, you know, what I could offer her is, you know, my my knowledge and, you know, my spirituality, you know? I think I f***ed one of the questions, and I was like, I hope I f***ed up my chance. Hi, bye. <laughs> Thank you all very much for coming this evening. Can we have a round of applause, please, for Ricardo, Austin, Slavko, John, Anwar, Maurizio, Devonric, and Seth. Is it possible I could talk to her? What's the, what's the problem? Yeah, well, they asked the question of what are you going to offer Jerry? And I kind of choked because I had so much to say and I kind of just lost it for a minute. I wanted to explain to her that by end, I hope to be here and win and offer her a well-trained English gentleman. So I don't want to leave. Okay, that ends you want to talk to Jerry? All right, well, look, let me see what I can get. Yeah, it's up. All right. Look, I've had a word with uh, Jerry, uh, and the answer is, is no. Wouldn't get a second chance to the press. She doesn't want to give you a second chance now. That sucks. John thinks he's going to marry Jerry, so I don't know what the hell is going through his mind. We try to knock some sets into him, like, dude, she doesn't want you.